Um, my wife and I would like to thank you all for joining us here this evening and sharing this wedding with us. Uh, on special occasions such as today, it's important to be surrounded by family and friends, uh, and we feel very fortunate to have all of you here with us to witness our journey. I'm glad today is birthday I can officially start calling Jessica my wife. Over the two years that we've been engaged, the word fiance has never really stuck with me. Even in Cantonese, Mei Fan Tai is a mouthful. And I can't wait to start calling her Lo Paul. <laughs> there are a few words to describe your wife in Chinese. Tai Zi, Tai Tai. But there's something in the words Lo Paul that I feel signifies what marriage is about. The person you commit to spending the rest of your days with. And I'm so happy today because I know I'm going to be able to grow old with the lovely bride who is standing here next to me. <laughs> Jess, I can't comprehend how I feel when we're together. Thank you for bringing me joy and happiness every day. You've done an unbelievable job in planning this wonderful wedding. And I'm sure our friends have noticed Jess's signature all over it. <laughs> Thank you to Uncle Stephen and Auntie Phoebe for your hospitality this evening, and most importantly, for giving me your very beautiful daughter. I promise to take good care of her, and of course do everything she tells me to. And I must admit that most of the time she probably is right. <laughs> Mom and Dad, I remember very clearly a scene in our original home when we first moved back from the UK in 1992. It was the first day that Dad and I joined George and Mom in our new life in this city. Mom, I remember you coming home from work, the pillar that you have always been for our family, still very early on in your career, serving the people of Hong Kong. And having been apart for a few months, I remember clearly the embrace that the two of you shared. Young parents celebrating the start of a new life and the beginning of a new chapter. Today commences another chapter in the life of our family that I was so very lucky to be a part of. Thank you for being the best parents anyone could ask for. The two of you are such unbelievable people and it's because of you that I have been able to live such a blessed life. You've guided me and supported me continuously throughout what has sometimes been a challenging journey. And I would be very happy if Jess and I can be as wonderful parents as you have been for me. I'm very, very proud to have you as my mom and dad. Thank you to my best man for being a great companion our whole lives. This is just a milestone in our journey as brothers. And I can't wait until the next major one. No pressure, George. <laughs> I think Jess would like to say a few words. <coughs> Actually, I, I fought hard to speak to all of you before men. But after some extensive research, by extensive we mean a Google search, Min won the argument when he found several sources saying that it's actually customary for the bride to not speak at all. <laughs> no. But no, that wasn't going to work for me, so I settled with speaking second. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Whenever my friends met Ben back in the day, they would always ask me if he liked me, and I remember telling one of my bridesmaids, Elaine, that I only saw him like a brother. And when she asked me if I'd ever date him, I remember very, very clearly saying to her, no, never. <laughs> now fast forward 10 years, we're married, and he's now my husband. As much as I appreciate Min giving me all the credit, Min was very involved in the planning of the wedding. He actually made it to every single <coughs> wedding related meeting, except he fell asleep through half of them. <laughs> when we are stressed and when we, we are having fun, and most importantly, even when I might not always be right, you never fail to comfort me and tell me how much you love me and how you will no matter what. 
I'm sure you know that I love you too. Not never, but forever. I'd like to thank my parents, mom, dad. Thank you for always being there for me and giving me the support whenever I needed it. Mom, thank you for being there to comfort me and talk to me, even when it's 1 a.m. in the morning. You are the kindest, most loving mother a daughter can have. And I'm sure Darren and Dara share the same sentiments. I love you. My sister Dara and my brother Dara, <coughs> thank you for being such great siblings. I'm glad to have you both in my life, even though we bicker and fight. And once in a while, as a team, we are able to fight off anything. I'm so happy to know I will always have the two of you by my side. for coming all the way from Toronto. Clap. <laughs> um, my maid of honor, Li Wen, who told me just last week she probably wouldn't make it back for the wedding from the US because of visa issues, which was when I unleashed the Brazilian inside me when I asked her to marry her boyfriend <laughs> as a problem to the solution. <laughs> rest assured, rest assured that's not what she did to get here. But Li Wen, I still think you'll be killing four birds with one stone by doing so. <laughs> Our friends have flown in from overseas, from the US, the UK, China, Germany, among many others. Thank you for making the trip to Hong Kong. Min and I both feel very special that you're here. Particular thanks to Liwen and Shaz, without whom Jess and I would never have been able to tie the knot today. Also, a special thanks to all the friends and colleagues who flew out from Singapore. <laughs> Mo Moving to Singapore was one of the real tests of our relationship, and we classed it with flying colors with no little thanks to the great friends who touched our lives when we were there. <laughs> Thank you all for being here today. I also want to give a quick shout out to my GOG crew in Hong Kong, out in force today. Thank you for being here. Important thanks goes to Philip Hahn for being a leader, a mentor, and for helping me shape, helping shape me into to the professional I am today. Thank you all for being here with me on this special occasion. Final thanks go to the groomsmen and bridesmaids for being great friends and great supporters of both men and I throughout this process. As a married couple, we look forward to many more laughs, tears, and drunken nights like tonight with all of you. Again, thank you so much for being here with us. I think that wraps up what we would like to say. Please drink a little more and enjoy our wedding. Thank you.